how to add those cute little curly cues to all those amazing fonts that you've downloaded. What they're really called are glyphs. Here you go. This video is going to show you how to add some of those pretty little curly cues or embellishments that are in various fonts that you may have uploaded to Cricut Design Space. And those are actually called glyphs. Sometimes you've gone ahead and uploaded some pretty cool fonts off of one of maybe off of one of my favorite websites called the font. And when you start using it in design space, you're not finding some of those nice little embellishments that you saw when you uploaded your font. Well, I can show you how to find them. I think one of the favorite fonts that a lot of people like to use is I Love Glitter, and it does have some cute little extras. So I've got this set up on my design screen, and I'm going to go ahead and type out happy birthday. But I'd like to add some of those little hearts, maybe, or some of those little curly cues that might be in this, this particular font, but I don't see them anywhere when I type it out. Well, I'll show you how to use them or how to find them. Sorry about that. So what you want to do is you want to go into your computer. And by the way, you can only do this on a computer or laptop. It will not work on any of your um, Android devices or your iPhones or iPads. So go ahead and do a search for character map. And here it is right here. And your computer has a character map. Um, I'm also going to show you a second way how to use a different character map. And here you go. You have I Love Glitter, which has all of the little fonts and glyphs available with I Love Glitter. And it should have all of your other system fonts in there. And you can see if any of those have some extra little glyphs. So I'm going to go ahead and select this nice little heart and I can select it. And then I can copy it. Now, one of the things about the character map is you can select more than one of these at a time, which can come in handy depending on what you, you do. So you can select quite a few to copy. So now that I've got this copied, I want to go back to my Cricut Design Space. And in my text box, I'm going to put my cursor in between Happy Birthday. And when you right click, you used to be able to paste, but Cricut has changed all that. So you may think that, uh oh, I'm in trouble now, but you're not. You can hit for your um, PC's Control V, and there's your nice little glyph. I think on Max it is Command V, and that is also paste. So you've got those nice little hearts in between your happy birthday. There is also another character map that I prefer much better. This is a free download from Microsoft. It's called Character Map UWP. I don't know what UWP stands for, but I really do like this particular character map a little better. I have the little um, icon down on the bottom, so I'm going to open this up. And what I like about it is, as you can see, it's a whole lot bigger. And I find it easier to look at. And when you click each letter, it reduces down to the whole alphabet. So here I'm going to go click on I Love Glitter. And I have all the extra little fonts and goodies right here that I can select. So I could select this little curly Q. And then at this point, you are going to select copy. And you're going to be told that it's copy. So let's go back to Cricut Design Space. Let's get our text box up. And I'm going to put my cursor right here. And I'm going to hit Control V. And I have this nice little curly cue right here. Now, the one thing about the Microsoft character map is you can only copy one at a time. But one of the things I do like about using this particular character map, and it would work on the other one, is I downloaded some Dingbat fonts from Defont. And if you have not used Defont, you might want to have a look at it. It's a free download of about 50,000 fonts right now. And they have some really amazing stuff. And they will upload into Cricut quite easily. So some of these Dingbat fonts have these have frames and you can copy and paste these into design space and they are really amazing to use and you can make them bigger. 
What you just need to remember is that if you're going to use this in design space, just copying and pasting it, it's not going to show up. You do need to select vintage frames as your font and you need to have the text box open on your design space and then you can control V and you can paste all these pretty um, frames and one of the things you can do once you have them in design space is you can change the color on them and the size and I really like a lot of the interesting dingbat fonts that are available for you to use. So I hope this has helped you out and happy designing!